Kershaw fires. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. That misses. And the count is one and two. It's a good take. Two and two. Two two now. Hard ground ball base now. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Boog, he doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Snap throw to first. And he's back in standing. This is Dylan Carlson to the right side. Base hit and a run into score. Now two runs score. Hey, they're right back in this thing after adding those two runs on the board. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. In the air, left field. Peralta makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Kershaw checks on the runner. O'Neill back in on a dive. And first offering is fouled off. O'Neill over at second. Carlson over at first. They're going away. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Throw home, not in time, the run scores. And it's now a two-run game. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. the play Brendan Donovan grounded a third could be two slings it across and that's an out well there's a lot riding on that at bat right there nice job of the pitcher to bear down make the pitch get the ground ball excellent piece of work up the middle that's a base hit one runs in now the second run is in all tight again five five Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. There's the strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches. By Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. So five runs in the top half of the third inning. Here comes Max Muncy. They've been so good about responding when the other team scores, coming back in the next half inning and putting something on the board themselves. Ripped on a line. And it's caught. And there's one away. Sometimes you want to be aggressive early in the bat. He was right there. Hard line out. First pitch of the inning. No reward, but hey, you got to keep swinging it. Ripped to third and caught. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. 
He's there. He's got it. And that's the third. Bottom of the inning. Now up for St. Louis. Nolan Arenado. There's a strike. Chris, it's pretty crazy to think that Nolan Arenado shared an entire side of the infield with a future Platinum Glove Award winner in Matt Chapman. They both were on the same team at high school at El Toro High School. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Another one, two. Fly ball down the line. Peralta going back on this one, racing back some more. One and two now. Just missed. You know, in the offseason, he regularly plays wiffle ball with his brothers and cousins. He contacted his back company. He's an old Hickory guy and ordered his model in a wiffle ball bat. Old Hickory model 28 NA dash wiffle. And it's got his name on it. Well, that's a guy that just loves playing the game. I mean, playing wiffle ball in the offseason just tells you how much he grinds. Got it by him for the K. Well, I thought there was a lot of patience in that at bat, but just the cat and mouse game, Kershaw just a master at it. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. That one lifted to left. Peralta should have this one and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And stepping in is the speedy Tyler O'Neill. First offering, misses the mark. O'Neill patrolling center field, batting sixth in today's lineup. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. The next pitch misses. And a count two and one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout back in st louis as the cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second here's the second baseman miguel vargas line drive he brings it down nice play time to perfect it's hard i think for those guys in the corners because you know, especially when it's a you know right-handed hitter for third baseman you don't see the ball all that well going through the zone and 
it's a left-hander, you got a better shot at it because you can see the ball going through, see the contact. And so that jump isn't always on time. Sometimes it's a little early. Sometimes it's a little bit late. But that one was perfect. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Walker makes the grab, and there's two gone. Back to the top of the lineup, Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for two. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. The throw to third. He's in there. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Lined, and that's a base hit. In to score from third. They've got the lead 6-5. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So two outs with runners on the corners. The batter now will be Will Smith. Ripped into left for a base hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 7-5 now. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. That's ripped to right down the line, and it goes just foul. At the belt and fires. Lined, and that's a base hit. Freeman rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Here's J.D. Martinez. That one ripped. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Muncy on his horse around third. The relay throw. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Zach Thompson. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Runner at second, two down. Rip to right, base hit. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. And first offering is fouled off. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy. To... And now this is down for a base hit. The run scores from third, and it's now a six-run lead. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two on with two away. James Outman. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one hops the wall. One run is in. Vargas coming home. The relay, and he's out. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. But they As expected, we're going into a rain delay, and I have a feeling this is going to be a long break, Singy. It is really coming down as they put the tarp on the infield. Yeah, I think we kind of saw this one coming, Boog, and it's not going to be a short break either, so 
Guess we go grab some coffee or something, man. Go sneak in a game of the show before play picks back up. Bring it. <laughs> 